Well, hello, Calvary. My name is Robert. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things that I have greatly enjoyed uh, throughout my TV watching history is watching the show Mythbusters. Uh, it's not just the antics and the crazy things that they do on the show, but I love the principle behind it of taking commonly held perspectives and opinions and testing them. Is it true or is it a myth? And I've, I loved this because in my life, I've seen my own mind go towards these places of, hey, here's something I've believed. Is that actually true? And if not, where did I come up with that? And what is the truth behind it? And you know, when you look at following Jesus, you look at the, the journey of Christianity, there's a lot of places where myths have, have been introduced, where wrong ideas, wrong theology, wrong beliefs have been interjected somewhere, somehow into the, the broader scope of how we know about what it means to follow God. And I think that one of those myths that has been introduced is that, that following Jesus is simply there for our benefit, for us to, to be helped and blessed in the tangible ways of this life. Now, certainly following Jesus brings an incredible blessing into our life in so many ways. There's our salvation and the eternal forgiveness of our sins. There's a promise that the, the Son of God is, is working in our life. The Holy Spirit is dwelling in us to help us and lead us and guide us. But if we're not careful, we can take that to the place of that God is our Santa Claus or a magic genie or whatever example you want to use. That God is the one where we just ask for all the things, all the stuff that we want and give him our wish list. And instead, Jesus shared a very different, broad understanding of what it means to follow him. See, in Matthew chapter 16, verse 24, he says this. He says, if anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. See, Jesus says what it means to follow him is denial. It's sacrifice. And, and you have to ask, what does that mean for us to deny ourselves? Well, when you think about what our hearts, motivations, and longings and desires usually are, they're usually motivated by sin. They're usually motivated by our selfishness, by our sin tendencies, and not towards the heart and desires of God by ourselves. And so when, it, when we think about denying ourselves, it's denying our desire for sin and taking up our cross and saying we're going to sacrifice and instead follow the path of Jesus. So today, I don't know where you find yourself with theology and understanding what it means to follow Jesus, but I hope you understand that being a Christian, being a follower of Jesus means denying yourself. It means putting aside the desires of your heart that are probably motivated by sin, by selfishness, by pride, and instead saying, God, what do you want me to be doing? What life are you calling me to? What are your desires, God? And I'm going to sacrifice and lean into those desires instead. And when we do, we find the incredible blessing that comes from walking in faith and obedience to God that we would never get by pursuing our own desires that are motivated by sin and selfishness. But we only find that in following God. So today I hope that you would live with denial not just denying the cookie after lunch today, but live with the denial of setting aside our selfish motivations and saying, Jesus, what do you want me to be doing today? Because I want to walk in that path. Hope that you have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.